Howdy there folks, I'm Quinn of Snazzy Labs and I'm here to show you my top five productivity apps for Mac. Number one, Dashlane. Dashlane is quite simply the best password manager for Mac. It's available for iOS and Mac OS. And when Dashlane asked if they could sponsor this episode of Snazzy Labs, I said yes, because I love their software and use it every single day. Now, Dashlane just works like any other uh, password manager in that if I go to a website I visit frequently, let's say Indiegogo, click the login button, it will automatically fill out the email and the password and I log in without a hitch. Now, that's one thing obviously that Dashlane does very well and it works on iOS incredibly well, but so do all password managers. So what makes Dashlane different? Well, let me show you. If I navigate to the Dashlane app, you can see that every password I've ever had is stored in my password section. You can also store personal information like your address, your credit card numbers, and it will autofill those as you request, which is very handy. It even has a receipt section where it will save every single transaction you've made online separately from what the uh, company records on their website. So you can keep track of your spending habits and make sure that your invoices line up with the invoices that you were shown upon checkout. But the coolest thing is this password changer. So if you're like me, you have hundreds of websites you've logged into. Your password habits may have not been the best. You've used weak passwords or duplicate passwords, and they all show up here in this password changer section. Now, very unsafe is obviously something we want to address ASAP. So we can see my Reddit account. Rather than having to go to reddit.com, log in with my old password, go to the settings page, find the reset password form, uh, type in my old password, then think of a new password and spend time making sure it's secure. All I have to do is press change now and Dashlane will do that all automatically. It navigates to the website, changes your old password to a new password, and you can see it's now super safe. The new password, I don't even know what it is. It's here in Dashlane, but I don't need to know what it is because it's all stored securely and is filled out automatically. Of course, if you do wanna see the password, you could go to the more section and then type show password. But it's very handy to change dozens, if not hundreds of old insecure passwords without spending hours of time filling out forums, logging into websites and doing it all manually. The last really cool thing I wanna show you, well, two more things. One is the secure notes section. I love this because you can store software licenses, uh, credit card numbers, anything you want, legal documents, it's all stored and encrypted securely. Very, very handy. But the last part that I wanna show you is this share password function. So let's say I wanna share my Netflix account with a friend, but I don't really want them knowing my password. All I have to do is press share item, and then I type in my friend's email and then send them limited rights. And when I send the password to them, it will send a link which will allow them to log into Netflix, but they won't be able to change the password or even really see the password. So it's very, very handy to be able to securely share logins with your friends and family without them knowing or changing your passwords. Very cool. All of the features I've shown today are included in the free version of Dashlane. There is a pro version if you want additional features, but most of the stuff is free and you should definitely check it out if you wanna support Snazzy Labs and you know yourself by saving time. The link is in the video description below. Number two, Alfred. Think of Alfred as Spotlight on crack. Now it can do everything that Spotlight does, but it does a heck of a lot more. Now concerning things that Spotlight does do and does do pretty well, it launches apps, it finds folders, etc. but it does so a lot faster. For example, if I type out scripts in Spotlight, it takes a little bit of time to find my scripts folder. Not too long, but noticeable. Whereas with Alfred, all I have to do is type the first few letters and there we go, the scripts folder is immediately available for me to open. Very, very handy. You can also search for stuff online, like if I type Y, then I could type MKBHD, and it automatically opens a YouTube search for Marquez. Or I could type Amazon, oops, uh, Amazon, and then type water bottle. And there we go. It automatically searches for that kind of stuff as well. Now that's not really why Alfred is cool. Let me show you my two favorite features that I absolutely rely on when it comes to Alfred. If we open text edit, uh, I can type a quick snippet expansion. For example, I type, thanks for watching, very often. If I type TFW, it automatically expands. Now, those that are savvy with macOS know that macOS can do that, but you can also do snippet extensions that macOS can't do. For example, if I type ddate, it automatically pastes the date, today's date, in a document that I'm typing. It can be in an email, anywhere you want. 
that's very, very handy. I can also type, uh, oh, I don't know, um, what's, oh, okay, I use a lot. And that automatically defaults to a thumbs up emoji so I don't have to pull up the bar and then search for it if it's not one of the most frequently used. So it does really, really cool stuff like that. Here's another thing I love, clipboard history. If I type clip, it will show me all of my recently copied things that I can recopy to the pasteboard and then paste. So it's really, really handy. Alfred is super powerful. I really can't even begin to show you the dozens and dozens of things that Alfred can do. So I'm not even going to try, but just trust me. Download it. Try it. It's free. It will change your life. It's amazing. It's Alfred. Number three, ItsyCal. Now this app is dead simple and it's free. It's been out for a couple of years and probably hasn't even been updated in a couple of years, but it doesn't matter because it's perfect. For whatever reason, macOS doesn't show beyond what today's date is in the menu bar. Not only does this show you the date without having to click the time menu, but it also shows you a little tiny calendar. So you can see uh, obviously days of the month as well as see your upcoming events. You can even click the plus button and add an event to your iCal calendar or to your Google calendar without having to open a calendars app. It's really fast, really light, very simple. There's not much to say about it, but it's an absolute must have. And it's free, it's Ecal. Number four, Ulysses. Ulysses is without a doubt the best writing app ever. My life lives in Ulysses. I write essays in Ulysses. I take class notes in Ulysses. I write contracts, even long emails, basically everything I write, I write in Ulysses. It's, it's brilliant. Now, what Ulysses allows you to do is organize every single note or a page item or uh, file, basically anything you want, into a nice, tiny little collaborative document that has super powerful search functionality. Now, what really makes Ulysses stand out from the rest of the writing apps is you're allowed to write in Markdown. Markdown is a syntax that once you learn it, it's brilliant. Ulysses can build tables with you just typing a couple of letters. It's really, really, really clever. And it allows you to not have to fuddle with formatting and you just write and you get everything out of the way distraction free and when you're ready to actually do something with it you can export the document to say word and make it look just like an essay it's it's really 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 clever now not only does it allow you to write distraction free and to format things very easily but it also has incredibly powerful search functionality that lets you search as broadly or as narrowly as you want. I've written probably hundreds of thousands of words with all my notes and class essays in here, but nonetheless, I can search anything or search somewhere much more direct. I can search just headings or search keywords that I've specifically uh, requested. Let's search anywhere for a word, I don't know, that I've probably used before like processor. Yeah, there you go. So it's in my Frank and Mac video. There it is. It automatically finds it. You can search files and pictures, anything imaginable you can pretty much search. And that's what makes Ulysses so powerful. It's just easy to find anything you've ever written. You can export in any document imaginable, like I've already mentioned before. Uh, you can even change the formatting of your export, which is pretty neat. Uh, you can have it export like that, or you could change it to, I don't know, another another look you like. Anything you want, you can export in PDF, whatever file format you want. It's very, very clever. It's all synced over iCloud, so you don't have to worry about stuff getting you know stuck on one Mac or stuck on the other. I, I seriously get more questions about Ulysses than any other Mac app I use. It's pricey. It's got a bit of a learning curve, but you won't be able to live it, uh, live without it once you try it. There is a free trial on their website, or you can download it from the Mac App Store for full price. Regardless, if you write, if you type at all, or at least very often, definitely give Ulysses a look at. Number five, Better Snap Tool. This application allows you to snap Windows just like you can in Windows 10, which I for the life of me, don't understand why Apple hasn't implemented. Rather than having to manually scale and drag the windows, you just drag it into a corner. If I drag it to the right, it becomes half the screen. If I drag it to the left, half the screen. If I drag it to the top, full screen. If I drag it to the bottom, you know, you get my, you get my groove. It just allows you to really quickly and dynamically resize windows. Now, some may say, hey, there's an application called Magnet. It's 99 cents. It does the exact same thing as this seems to do. Uh, it's cheaper, it's simpler and I like it more. That's true, Magnet does work very well. But one thing that a Better Snap Tool does a lot better than any other application I've seen on the market is it allows you to define custom snap areas. For example, very seldom do I want to look to the left side of my monitor. It's just, it's not convenient. When I'm looking at a big window, I usually want it to span over the course of more area. 
So rather than having to, you know, snap it and then and then drag it out manually, you could define custom snap areas. So one custom snap area I've defined is if I drag it into the very top left corner, it will resize to two thirds of the screen. So it can be full screen or it could be half screen or again, top left, two thirds. It's very, very handy because you can seriously make any snap area you want. You can make any window look like any window. You can make any app respect a certain snap area, but have other apps not respect it. It's just way more powerful. The magnet brings incredible window snapping to Mac OS to a level that it's even better than Windows 10 and certainly better than anything that Apple puts in Mac OS. And that's better snap tool. It's incredible. All the links are down in the video description. Check out our other videos to the left. And as always, stay snazzy.